Must you always look at my fat? <laughs> I've told you a million times, I don't like it when you look at me like that. You almost let it fall. Be careful, please. It's just old and overused. You can probably repair it if you really want it. Don't be silly. We can just buy a new one. I was planning on running out to the store later anyways. What else do we need? Do we still have batteries? I probably needed some double A's and also some eggs. I am so sick of that stupid superstore. What happened to the small businesses in this town? I was going to go to a small bake shop like Buttercups and pick up a cake for Faith. I told her I would bake a cake, but I didn't actually want to have to bake a cake. My cakes always turn out dry, and the icing tastes like cream cheese melted into some Sour paste with sugar. You know. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I could just buy a fancy one like Buttercups used to sell, but then I remembered that it closed. Anyways, my point was I could just show up at Faze and everyone would compliment my cake and tell me what a great baker I am and how much better I am at everything than them. Oh, it's not Figure. Oh, doll, your cake is so delicious. You must bake another for the book group. And all their husbands are probably thinking, wow, what a lucky guy Cyrus is. <laughs> They're really perfect together. Isn't it funny how little you can tell about a family dynamic from the outside? Or maybe we're just really good at pretending we're perfect. It's what I love about us. Anyways, <laughs> Mrs. Stiles, please stop. You are ranting again. Just run some self-control. Can't you just sit here for three seconds and enjoy this without... We hardly get any alone time together anymore, and you're sitting there talking about all the shit you have to do, and frankly, I don't care. <laughs> don't you ever have anything decent to contribute to our conversations? Forget it. Tyrus. Can I ask you something? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> Do I what? I asked you if you thought I was pretty. I know you once thought I was pretty, but I guess I just really want to know if I'm still pretty. Not that I really care what you think, because frankly, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty. You know I think you're pretty. I don't actually care if you think I'm pretty. I don't even know why I asked. I know you think I'm pretty. Maybe I just really wanted to hear you say it. But you know, Cyrus, looks aren't every... What are you doing? You are so reckless sometimes. Here, take this. You are going to cut yourself. You're right. You are always goddamn right. I don't know why I even bother trying with you anymore. Do you even find me attractive? <laughs> I suppose I did. I mean, I still do, but not the same way I used to, you know. I'm sure you could say the same thing about me. Yeah, Cyrus, objectively speaking, you're attractive. Everyone thinks so. That's why Mrs. fucking Stein is always all over you. Oh, Cyrus, your lawn is looking very green today. <laughs> I think it's more of that writing you've been working on. Oh, Cyrus, you must take a look at my sink. Oh, Cyrus, this. Oh, Cyrus, that. You two are fucking. <laughs> you know, I love it when you get jealous, Delar. Am I uh, allowed to say that? Okay. It's one of the things I still find sexy about you. Yeah, Cyrus. You can say that. Thank you. You know, I don't really find jealousy to be that sexy, especially when I wear it. You think it would be sexy if I went to her house and slashed her tires? Or what if I fucked Mr. Stein and filmed the whole goddamn thing and left it on repeat on each of their 12 television sets? <laughs> there must be about 20 in that house. You're <laughs> fucking crazy, you know that? Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. 
but there must be a reason, right? A reason I've gone so mad. <laughs> so what is it? Do I have to do everything for you? <laughs> Ah, uh, thank God we don't have kids! Could you imagine what life would be like if we'd had kids? I don't know, I don't think about it much. It starts to piss me off when moms show off their children and how cute they are. Our children would have been fucking gorgeous and we would have shot them off like trophies. It's one of those things nobody likes to talk about because we don't have kids. But I'm glad they don't ask because I want them to ponder about the reason we don't. Oh, maybe our child died, or maybe I had a stillborn. Oh, maybe they think I'm infertile. Anyways, can't a woman own her own body? Isn't she allowed to not want kids? What the hell are you even talking about? <laughs> no one is blaming you for not having children. All I'm saying is that we would have been actual parents. We would have been responsible for another life, a living, breathing thing. You would have been a mother. Don't people normally say to someone in this context, Oh, what a shame, Tal. You would have been a wonderful mother. But no, all you said was you would have been a mother. <laughs> well, we didn't have children, so how would I know? And you're not all that great with kids, you know. I am great with kids. You should have just fucking said, hello, you would make an awesome egg. And that you would. Thank you, asshole. <laughs> you know, there's something off about you today, Talar. I just can't quite put my finger on it. What's that, Cyrus? People who say they can't put their finger on something actually can, but just fear what might happen if they do. What's gonna happen, Cyrus, if you just say what you think? Why don't you tell me, Tal? I don't even know what time it is anymore. <laughs> I've wasted a perfectly good night arguing in this dumb bathroom. <laughs> Can you just tell me the time? Your phone's right next to <laughs> I'm sorry, Sai. Do you have somewhere to be? No! <laughs> it's just we've been in this bathroom for a long damn time. It's 9.37. Anyways, you're right, Cyrus. You just know me so well. I am a little different than usual, aren't I? A little more uptight, you could say, or bitchy, as the men usually like to call it. Well, if you must know, I saw you earlier making small talk with that bitch. Oh, there, I said it. I used the B word. Ha, ah, what a bad feminist I am. <laughs> Eden? Yeah, Mrs. Fucking Stein. Well, I'm sorry I didn't know talking was a crime. I know you two are fucking Cyrus. And I guess it's strange to make something of it now, but I saw you two talking, talking about what? Nothing, probably. The news or some bullshit about the upcoming election. As if either of you bird brains actually <laughs> gave a damn or knew a single thing about politics. Screw you, Talar! So what's different about this time? <laughs> yeah, I know, you've slept with plenty of women in the 11 years we've been together. My god, it's been 11 whole years. <laughs> <laughs> Slept with other people, also, ha! But you probably already knew that. Yet, I know. We've both slept with other people. It's not a big deal, Zilar. That's not true. There is something about Mrs. Stein. She's just this boring housewife, but worse than that, she's straight up hideous. Just thinking about her makes me sick. Why are you wasting your time with a face like that? Maybe because we have actual things in common. We all feel trapped in our lives and our marriages. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot we had an arranged marriage and that we were wed against your will. That's not what I'm saying at all, Tamar. You know that. This isn't how it always used to be. We both know how trapped and unhappy we've become. We talk about the things that make this marriage screwed up, even though we've held on to us for dear life for so long. But it's funny. Eden and her husband. But they don't realize how trapped they are. Or at least they don't admit it to each other or themselves. And they've been married for 15 years. And neither of them consider leaving the other. Why? It's as if it was all set in stone the moment they stopped on a glass and danced the horror. <laughs> and for that reason, they stay together. But why? 
we should be asking ourselves the same question. Well, I'm not getting a divorce or anything. That looks bad. And you never hear a divorcee saying, yeah, my husband and I were together for 11 years. 11 is a bad number. We at least have to make it even. There you go, spewing nonsense again. You aren't happy, Tall. I haven't seen you happy for a long time. Why are we forcing ourselves to be a part of something that's been dead for years? Well, I guess you should know that I'm pregnant, Simon. <laughs> yes, you're what? Well, now, this is the point where everything seems all too predictable. Of course, I had to be pregnant. And now it just seems like I'm saying this in hopes of you staying. But I'm telling you that I'm actually pregnant, and I'm also telling you that I'm leaving. <laughs> It's okay that we only lasted 11 years, and it's okay that we're not in love anymore. Our son or daughter can grow up thinking this is what marriage or love is. Fucking shit. Oh. <laughs> I should have known. And you thought now was a good time to tell me? Well, maybe if you let me rant a little longer, I would have let it out. <laughs> Anyways, I might have an abortion. I'm not quite sure. But you said, Cyrus, I'm not exactly cut out for the whole parenting thing. But the baby doesn't really matter right now because it doesn't really change anything, does it? Well, the baby does matter, Talar. What the fuck are we going to do? Are we going to stay here even if we're separated? Oh, God, I guess if you get an abortion, that changes things. But I've always wanted to be a father, and you know that! So have a fucking child with a missus! <laughs> Whatever, Cyrus, I'll shut up. <laughs> Here's what we can do, Cy. I'll carry the baby for nine whole months. Let it practically eat me alive. I will do this alone or at my parents' house for the time being. Then, once the baby decides to shove its way through my fucking vagina, I'll give you a buzz and the sucker is all yours. Don't, don't say that, Tal. You, you make a good mother. Coming from you! I guess we'll have several months to see if that's true. I'm sorry, Tal. You must be fucking stupid. It's been over three months since we had sex. <gasps> I'm sorry if you've been too inept or caught up in your affairs to remember the last time we had sex. No, I'm not pregnant. Or if I am, it's not with your kid. <laughs> oh, Cyrus, I almost got it out of you. It's been years since you've given me a good fight. It's how I know you really don't love me anymore. Anyways. Oh, come on! It did anyway! Just one, no S! <laughs> so, <laughs> this was all a ruse. You can say that, but that's not what this was. Da -da, you can't play games with people's minds like this, Talar. You have to understand that. I can't fucking play these games anymore! Remember when we used to do this? We used to go into the bathroom. It was our haven from the rest of the world. We used to run away into the bathroom when your parents were in town, and when Aunt Claire stayed, us with, stayed with us for that god-awful month. We were the hosts, but for some reason, we felt like it was okay to abandon our responsibilities. <laughs> I know, it's not the same anymore for numerous reasons. We also moved. God, I miss that old bathroom. The walls were cream white and always looked like they needed a fresh coat. I used to paint that wall religiously. The ceiling was always chipping, but I loved it. The only thing that's the same here is the tile. Never would have occurred to me. Thank you, Cyrus. It's the only thing we saved from that bathroom. And that was fun. Do you remember the endless hours we spent taking out each dial by ourselves. Yeah. Oh, I miss that house. I remember. That was our refuge. 
And I still love this stupid time. When did this become so forced, so miserable? It's funny. The one place that used to keep us safe is now the one place that's holding us hostage. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to be prisoners. And I don't want to be a fucking joke anymore! That was awesome! Oh my god, you were really in it this time! Really? Yeah, I got the thing with the kids! Like, I was like, yeah. fuck, let me do it. Yeah, no, I was like, let me do it. Oh, wow, that was that really intense. Really intense. Yeah. So, uh, come to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.